Virgo, this is your horoscope for October 2018. Thank you for joining me. On the 1st of October, you're going to feel very chatty and very communicative when it comes to your working life. On the 2nd and 3rd of October, it's very likely that you're going to be nurturing and caring towards uh, one of your friends or family members. It's likely that someone may, may express a need for you to be there for them. Uh, by the 4th of October, you... F October? By the 4th of October, rather, you will feel very, very confident in yourself. You really are proud of yourself. You've achieved something in terms of helping someone else or giving the nurturing energy that you need to one of your hopes and dreams so that you can build it. It's either going to translate in one of those two areas. On the 5th of October, I've got kind of bad news for you. Venus, the planet of love, beauty and creativity goes retrograde and it goes retrograde until the 16th of November. Now, not only that, Venus is in Scorpio. So Scorpio is about, I feel things so intensely and I love intensely. It's in your third house of communication. So you're not the worst hit by this because it could be in the fifth house of romance. And Jupiter, the lucky planet, is sitting next to it, protecting you somewhat. What you need to watch out for during this Venus retrograde, because it's in your third house, is that you don't say the wrong things and that you don't get wound up by things and that you see things on the news and then you go on a Twitter rant and then you get yourself in trouble. Okay? Venus in retrograde is really serious. It twists what we see and what we love would be abhorrent to us at other times. I, I really take Venus ser uh, retrograde very seriously because I got into a relationship during a Venus retrograde and the person seemed like my twin flame and then when the retrograde was over i was like what was i thinking it was brutal it took me a year to recover so take these retrogrades seriously be careful in terms of what you're saying you as a virgo if you say the wrong thing anyway you feel guilty about it so really just be on guard in october mental note okay so for the next couple of days here on the 6th of October, the moon goes into Virgo, stays there on the 7th, and it meets your midheaven in your first house. So the 7th of October is a good idea to download information about your work, how you can create your own work that will make you independent and a lot of money. On the 8th of October, we've got the moon going into Libra, and we've got Mercury and the sun and the transiting midheaven in Libra in your second house. So money wise, I don't think you're going to have any kind of bad news on the 8th. If anything, you might have some good news in terms of your finances. The 9th of October is the new moon. I'm going to make separate videos on the new moon and the full moon. They are complicated sometimes and I'm just going to go into more details. But the important thing for you to know is that the new moon happens in your second house of money. So that Libra energy pulls the energy into your second house of creating value and and um, financial abundance and with that energy you're able to use the libra energy to create things and to say things in a, in a lovely way so that people will respond to them positively and that's going to help you if you're interested in creating more wealth now caveat venus is in retrograde starting new business is not a good idea starting a new relationship is not a good idea so getting the skills or making plans to start a business is fine but leave it until the 17th of november to actually start the business on the 10th of october mercury the communication planet and your ruler is direct and it goes into scorpio in your third house so now we've got your ruler really emotional your moon really emotional venus really emotional in Scorpio and retrograde, so uh, screwball, and Jupiter protecting you. Really, from the 10th, you're going to oh, speak so emotionally, and that's going to have an effect on your circumstances in terms of your finances, in terms of the future, in terms of your skills. I'm seeing uh, things like Elon Musk tweeting that he's going to take his company private 
and that the share price is going to be 420 because that was a joke for his um, pot smoking girlfriend that kind of stupidity and then having to pay 20 millions in fines and being on a three-year probation period or something like that words once they have been said they can't be unsaid and you as a Virgo you are very good at learning things and taking things in but when it comes to speaking you sometimes put your foot in it so be careful this month especially yikes I'm getting scared here I'm paid I, I get paid to talk sometimes so it's base your base your um, make sure you base the things that you're saying on facts and if you are an intuitive or a clairvoyant just make sure that things sit right with you before you communicate the messages it's good for you it's extra training you'll be able to look at another way to express your love for people and to tune in and you may even have a different experience of your higher power that's also a wonderful possibility so the 12th 13th and 14th of October are all about family and relationships for you spend time with family members if you can travel on the uh, 12th 13th or 14th of October that would be fabulous because that would make you feel really comfortable being around family it would be a really nice time for you on the 15th of October we have the moon in Libra at 22 degrees in your second house next to your transiting midheaven so your identity is really in your money sector so you're interested in working and creating something that's meaningful and you also want to communicate something that's meaningful so you will do that so double check everything dot the i's and cross the t's to make sure you don't say things which will get you in trouble it opposes uranus in at zero degrees whenever anything is at zero you get the quintessential nature of that so uranus is chaos it's the unpredictable it's the miraculous you don't know what it's going to do and it's in taurus so it has an impact on either your money your um living situation or your environment and security and stability so if we're looking at this on the downside if you're usually a very well adjusted person and you love normally and um you have a family and everything's wonderful then just be careful about what you say this month so you don't rock the boat and you keep everything fine but if you have major problems when it comes to love and or with venus and it keeps you repressed because venus is in retrograde in your chart anyway and it's got black moon lilith on it and you hate yourself then a venus retrograde can be really helpful because that negative influence doesn't have anything to do with you anymore and it allows you to speak if you've got issues with that the sun is at 22 degrees 22 is the master number of the builder so this is this is fortune or bust this is feast or famine this is all or nothing okay so you can either create the most amazing concept here and create ideas for the best business and best way of making money in the future again don't start it until the 17th of november when uh venus actually goes direct so you still think it's a good idea or you could massively screw up and say the wrong thing and lose your job so those are two polar opposites make sure you where you fit into that if you're retired then use your voice to help others or to make life more beautiful and use your feelings to help other people so this energy continues the moon goes into Aquarius in your sixth house next to Mars on the 17th and it stays there the 18th the 19th so those three days are about I want to use my work to help other people and if I have to put my spotlight if I have to put myself in the spotlight to do that I don't mind doing it on the 20th we've got the moon Neptune and Chiron sitting in Pisces in your seventh house until the 22nd of October so again that's when you're really at risk of really seeing the person who is just magic for you Oh my god, I've never seen anyone so beautiful. 
please go out with me. <laughs> You're not as at risk of this in terms of love as other signs are, but you are at risk when it comes to communication. So, if you meet someone and they seem like everything, and they seem like your soulmate, really, really be careful and start that relationship if you want, but look at it once the Venus retrograde has passed and it's gone direct on the 17th of November. Because usually when you meet someone during a Venus retrograde, that person promises to de deliver everything you ever wanted and in the end they deliver zero. So Venus retrograde is not a good time to start new relationships. Please don't learn that hard lesson by ignoring me. I ignored my own advice last year and I got into a relationship during Venus Retrograde and it took me a year to recover. It was brutal. Now on the, 24th, <laughs> on the 24th of October, we've got the full, I laugh. You know, I've got, if I'm not, I, either, I have a choice. I can laugh or I can cry, so I laugh. On the 24th of October, we have the full moon in Taurus. So that's an earth sign, that's good. Again, I'll make a separate video on that, but this full moon releases Taurus energy in your ninth house. So you will have a huge desire to um, explore the higher realms, to travel, to broaden your horizons in some way. And that broadening of your horizons will ultimately end up influencing your working life and how you put yourself into the spotlight and how you create money. So this is a kind of interesting month for you where you learn a lot about yourself and how you communicate and what impact that has on your financial life. On the 25th, 26th, 20, uh, stop. It went automatic there. So let's go back, excuse me. On the 25th, 26th, 27th, no, on the 25th and 26th, the moon is in Taurus in your ninth. So those are the days to travel, to broaden your horizons, to really do something different. Uranus is also in there. So if you need chaos in your life, do it then. On the 27th, the moon goes into Gemini in your 10th. So that's a great day to interview for jobs, to present, to uh, do presentations. It'll go down very well. On the 28th, the moon is still in Gemini in your 10th house. Also, if you can set up job interviews or presentations, fabulous. Especially on the 28th, it will lead to freedom in some way in terms of your career. Remember that don't put your emotions into it and stick with the facts. Emotion isn't what they want from you this month. They want facts. On the 28th, the clocks go back in the UK on the 4th of November if you're in the States. So Virgo, you end the month with the moon going into Cancer in your 11th house on the 29th and 30th. So that's a great time to take care of your friends again. And then it's in Leo in your 12th. So you'll really have a sense of pride at the end of the month. I've done something good here. I've worked really hard. I've done well. And Mercury goes into Sagittarius in your fourth house. So for you to spend Halloween with family members or people you love is going to be really satisfying to you and you'll really enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful October. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Have a fabulous month. Please check out my daily tarot readings, the weekly horoscopes and all the other videos I do. Um, and I'll speak to you next month.